Hey, I'm here at KT Produce here in Lowell. They have really found a creative way to flip their business and their community is loving it. Thanks for having me here today. Can yep. you kind of tell us what uh, what your business normally is and how you've adjusted for this whole COVID-19 business. Sure, yeah. So typically, uh, we're, a, we're a wholesale food service distributor. Mm -hmm. So our uh, typical customer is gonna be uh, restaurants, hotels, schools, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we're kind of we're kind of backdoor people. Nobody really knows we're there. We're yeah. we're in and out of the back door. We're delivering wholesale, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables, and um, you know, schools shut down, restaurants all but shut down, the hotels right. shut down. Uh, uh, we, we woke up, you know, with with uh, with our regular business gone, uh, and so we uh, we shifted gears. We opened up to the public, uh, started selling our uh, our products, uh, curbside, uh, contact free. Yeah, and uh, they're loving it. Well, yeah, you know, I did a little survey on my Facebook page just with my friends and asked locals, hey, what are some businesses around here that are adjusting in a creative way? And a lot of people sung your praises, so you're doing something right. And, oh, great. and we just made an order yesterday and came and picked it up, and it was flawless. Just, you know, you've got a good system going here. So what we're doing is uh, you can order a la carte. You can order, you know, tomatoes or onions or potatoes or, or whatever. Okay. Uh, you can order off the menu, uh, but then if you, well, you're feeling lucky, you just order the KT Fresh box. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and it's a box that's designed by me and my wife, uh -huh. and uh, it'll have, you know, some regular stuff in it. You know, it'll have your oranges and apples and pears and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but then it'll have some uh, more seasonal type stuff uh, with menu ideas. Uh, well, and you've had some some local chefs and and you guys are helping out, kind of figuring sure, out what yeah. to do with what's yeah, in so the box. Yeah, so we're foodies uh, uh -huh. also. So uh, we, but we do have some friends and local chefs in the community that have been giving us their secret recipes or their favorite recipes and and uh, helping us out with some ideas. Yeah. But we're building, you know, we're building the boxes around, uh, you know, things that are maybe just coming in season or, mm -hmm. or really good quality right now. Yeah. So you know, you usually deal with local restaurants and so you've already got friends there and you know they they're glad to help it seems like so I, I, that's really great and and you were, we were talking yesterday uh, you really try to utilize local producers and farmers a lot and that's, that's right really we, starting we to partner with a couple dozen uh, local farms uh, and uh, you know that season's just now really starting to get, mm -hmm. get going there's not a whole lot uh, but but anytime we can uh, you know we can partner up with a, a local farm uh, and that's what we're really excited about this summer is is uh, utilizing the fresh box to get more yeah. local grown stuff out. Right. This has actually allowed us to uh, keep almost all of our employees. Uh, you know, when it first started, we we had to let go about um, we let go about 60% of our employees, wow. and uh, within a week, we brought almost all of them back. Oh, that's so great! So, yeah, that's yeah. been really good for them. Like you said, you guys are, are normally backdoor folks, uh, so your social media presence really wasn't that a big a part of your business. But tell right. us how yeah, that's sure. changed. That's been crazy. Uh, we had when we started this a month ago, we had twelve followers on uh, social media, yeah, <laughs> right. uh, and uh, I wasn't really a believer in social media, but I am now. Uh, yeah, we we didn't really want to be noticed. Sure, uh, we, we we wanted to stay. Well, wasn't the part curtain. of the objective of your business sure, at the right. time? Yeah, uh, right. But uh, you know, it's 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 been a lot of fun. Uh, we've loved the support the community's given us. Yeah, uh, we are going to continue this. Uh, it's going to look a little different. Um, it'd be like you said, maybe a subscription service, uh, home delivery. Yeah, uh, but. But yeah, people are loving it. We, everybody's asking. Uh, they're, you know, nobody wants it to go away. Yeah, your your anonymity is gone. Yeah, right. <laughs> It'd be pretty hard to turn it off now. Yeah, right. Well, so Chris, tell us how how, how people can order with y'all and, and what that looks like so that they can take advantage. Sure, so right now um, people are uh, either, uh, they're, so they're going to either our Facebook page or our Instagram page and there's a link to uh, a Google document that has all of our offerings on okay. it. Uh, you, can, you can email your order in, you can call your order in and um, and then, yeah, like you said, you just come pick it up. Okay, cool. Uh, um, that'll probably look a little different uh, in the future, uh, maybe more of an online mm -hmm. uh, marketplace. Uh, 
Well, it's been good for you, for you guys to keep it rolling, and your community is loving it, so you're doing it right. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. We're enjoying it. Well, well, thank you, Chris, and thank you only in Arkansas for sponsoring this video. Life's what you make it. Let's get our hands dirty.